I'm Sherry with Apex Capital. Let's get into this forecast. There are a ton of factors that impact the cost of starting a trucking company. Things like the state you're registering your business in, what kind of cargo you want to haul, and hauling across state lines or only within your state. That's why it's hard to nail down exactly how much it's going to cost for you to get started. What we can tell you is that most trucking companies spend between $10,000 and $20,000 to start a trucking company. Before you let that scare you off, let us break down where all that money goes. The first costs you need to be prepared for are these required filings and registrations to get your trucking company started. When forming your company, costs vary. Obtaining your EIN, that's free. You want to obtain your authority, it's about a $300 charge. File your BOC3, that costs $50 or more. You want to get insured. The initial down payment for insurance is between four and $6,000 per truck. File your UCR. Again, those costs vary as well. File an IRP, $500 to $3,000 per truck. Additional authorities and permits, those costs will vary. And you want to register with IFTA. Again, costs vary per truck. Federal taxes, $100 to $550 per truck and state taxes and filings, 500 or greater. Now, over to you, Hannah. Thanks, Sherry. If you're ready to start your trucking company but don't have the time to fill out and then keep track of the necessary paperwork, let the Apex Startup Program help. We'll complete the filings and registrations so that you can focus on building a successful business. Once we learn about the plan for your future trucking company, we can even give you a better estimate of what it's gonna cost. Give us a call to get started today. This just in. We just got word that those are just the costs of getting started. Once you're up and running, you'll also need to plan for ongoing costs. You can't make money in the trucking industry without spending some too. The cost of operating your trucking company will fall under two different types of costs, variable and fixed. Knowing the difference between them can help you forecast your financial climate of your trucking company. Fixed costs are expenses that consistently occur, like your monthly truck payment, your insurance payment. Those payments are generally the same every pay term, so budgeting for these expenses is usually pretty simple. Variable costs are expenses that are, well, varied. They're not happening at the same time each month or charging the same amount. These are things like fuel, maintenance, repairs, meals, lodging. Variable costs are harder to anticipate compared to fixed costs, but after operating a few months, you should be able to estimate your variable costs pretty easily. Is all this information making you feel like you got caught out in the rain without an umbrella? Don't worry. If you budget and prepare for a trucking company, you have a better chance at saving for a rainy day. You might not be able to predict the weather, but if you know the cost per mile and operating ratio for your trucking company, you can predict your trucking company's profits. Calculate your cost per mile by dividing your costs by the number of miles you drive. Mastering this calculation shows you the cost of operating per mile driven, but it will also help you know what freight rates to look for when booking loads. Your operating ratio tells you if you're operating at a profit or a loss. It's calculated by dividing your expenses by your revenues. Well, that's it for our cost of starting a trucking company forecast. And now that you know what to expect, we hope your future trucking company has a lot of sunny and beautiful days ahead. If you want to learn more about the cost of running a trucking company, then head over to our website. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you'll get notified when we post our next video. We'll see you on the next one.